let me film my intro before the sun goes down because the sun's going down and I always do this I wait until the end of the day to start filming my videos even though I've had all day to do this welcome back to my YouTube channel so today I am going to show you guys how to do a MIDI setup using vocal synth 2 isotopes of vocal synth 2 I've had this plugin for a while now and I've used it as an effect and I've used it before testing it out blah 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 but today i am going to show you how i set up my channels using logic 9 the same principles will work in 10 it's exactly the same thing yes yeah, so that's what i'm gonna do stay tuned like and subscribe all that fun stuff yeah okay so the first thing you want to do is create an audio track so you press on the plus button you create your audio track now, I've got my microphone plugged in so I can show you guys what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. So, um, normally how Vocal Synth 2 is used is that uh, if you're using it as an effect, you can put that on your effects channel in your inserts and you have that as your effect. If I bypass it and I talk into it, um, do 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 ha ha. You can see that that sound is um, it's used as an effect and we've got the dry signal, blah de blah de blah However, what I want to do is show you guys how I can um, use this as a MIDI controller. So what you want to do is, I'm going to just take that off because we don't need that. We are going to create a new software instrument. You then want to scroll down, go to AU MIDI control effects and you want to go to isotope, vocal synth 2, Mono, stereo, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go for stereo, just because, why not? You go up here where it says auto mode, you click, you click on MIDI mode. Now, if you're not sure, you've got some little instructions here which actually tell you what to do, but I'm here to show you how I do it anyway. So you click accept, uh, that's cool. So we've set that up as your instrument. Now, we want to control the sound being recorded through audio one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to where it says sidechain and I'm going to click on audio one and I'm going to route it through the audio channel that I have set up. So you click audio one. That is the track that we've put there at the top. And what I'm going to do now is just show you that that's all set up. It's all set up and ready to go. I'm going to show you how it works. Let's go to our audio track and I'm just going to record in some gibberish so you can just hear what, I'm, what I mean by all of this stuff. Now I'm just going to record, I can't actually hear myself through the computer but hey ho. Okay, um, we've got that there. I'm going to take off record so I can actually turn this up and hear it myself. We go back down to our instrument there, we can mute that because we've already rooted it. Now I go onto my instrument, and if I start playing, it's controlling the audio that I've put in there. So I don't have to hear the dry signal, you can hear the dry, so I don't need to hear this dry signal because I can just play in with my keyboard. Oh God. I can affect the audio that I've recorded through my keyboard. So let's just mess around. Let's play some different presets here and see what it sounds like. And that's literally it. And then if you want, you can then record that back in. So if we press record. Let's take off the metronome, mate. You get it, you play it back, it's there. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> And that's how you set it up. Oh God, I could hear the microphone from there. Right, that's um, saving. That is how I set up Vocal Synth 2 as a MIDI controller and I control the audio. 
I should actually make some beats doing that. I don't know why I haven't made beats doing this this whole time, but that's what I do, so. I hope you like this video. If you have, a like and subscribe. I make beats and stuff. I procrastinate in my house and stuff. We're just here having a great little time, boo. Hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.